In this video, we're going to be solving inequalities with variables on both sides of the inequality sign. So what you're going to do is move all variables to the left side and move all constants to the right side. So that means all letters go to the left, all numbers go to the right. And then you're going to solve it like we have before. So looking at problem number one, we have 3x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 5x plus 16. So this 5x that's on the right side, we have to move it to the left. So that positive 5x, we subtract it. And when I write it on the left, I write it underneath my 3x because I want to keep my like terms lined up. 3x minus 5x is negative 2x. Bring down the minus 8, bring down the greater than or equal to, bring down the 16. I don't need to bring down the plus sign because the plus sign is like a positive and I don't need to put positive signs. Now I take all my numbers, which means the negative eight, and I move it to the right. So I move negative eight by adding and we get negative two X is greater than or equal to 24. And then we solve this like a normal equation. We divide by negative two, divide by negative two but we have to remember that when we divide or multiply by a negative number, we have to flip that inequality sign. So our answer is really x is less than or equal to negative 12. So you move your variables to the left, you move your constants to the right, and then you solve it like a normal inequality that we've done before, but you've got to remember to when you divide or multiply by the negative, you have to reverse that inequality sign. So number two, negative 8x plus 6 is less than 4x plus 102. So I take the 4x that's on the right, and I'm going to subtract it. And the reason I'm subtracting it is because it's positive. So subtract 4x. Negative 8x minus 4x is negative 12x. Bring down the plus 6. Bring down the less than. Bring down the 102. And then we take this plus six and we move it to the right. So minus six minus six. So negative 12 X is less than 102 minus six is 96. Then we divide by negative 12, divide by negative 12. When I divide by negative 12, I have to flip that inequality sign because I'm dividing by a negative. So our answer is really x is greater than negative eight. So when we look at number three, number three has an extra step that the other two problems didn't. That extra step is distributing that three. So we're going to take that three and distribute it. Three times x is three x. Three times negative one is negative three. Greater than x plus seven. This x that's on the right, we're going to subtract it. 3x minus x is 2x, because remember that x is like 1x, so 3x minus 1x is 2x, minus 3 is greater than 7. And then we finish this by adding 3. 2x is greater than 10, divide by 2, and x is greater than five. Why does my inequality sign not flip? It doesn't flip because we didn't divide by a negative. So number four, five plus four X is greater than or equal to X plus eight. So this X that's on the right, we're gonna move it over by subtracting. Four X minus X is three X. I'm going to switch that order and put the plus 5 in the front, or that's in the front, put it behind the 3x, greater than or equal to 8, and then we solve it like normal. Subtract 5. Does my inequality sign have to flip when I divide by 3? No, because I didn't divide by a negative, so x is greater than or equal to 1. If you need more help, please reach out.